I think that once he actually passed away, my father actually passed away, I think that it was, it was, it's, it stopped being a fear of death and it started becoming the fear of a life unlived is really what it was. Um, so I really think that the fear of death stopped at that point in time was because I looked at his life and said, you know, he was a great person, but there was, he was a dreamer, but he was never, never executed on any of his dreams. And so I realized he, he was a life unlived. He did not do everything that he wanted or that he could have. And so my fear went from the fear of death to the fear of getting to the end of my life and regretting, wishing that I would have done more, wishing that I would have impacted more people's lives. I remember a couple weeks after my father passed away, my mom and I were talking about it and I was like, I feel like I should go speak at AA meetings or I should talk to alcoholics and make them realize that, you know, what they're doing is not affecting just them. What they've been through in their past experiences is not affecting just them. There's other people around them. There's children, their loved ones that, that are going through the same thing they're going through in a different way. And so I think I immediately, once my father passed away, realized that this is, this is what I've been given. I need to make a positive out of this. My father's dead. Nothing I can do about that. That's a bad thing, but I could also turn this bad thing into a really good thing. And so my mission has been, how can I get my voice out to as many people as possible to try to impact as many people as possible? Because that negative has turned into an extremely positive thing since that happened 16 years ago because of the way that I viewed it and realizing that I'm going to make sure that when I die, that negative is, it's, it's nothing compared to how much positive actually came from it.